Your love viewers, welcome to the weekly gospel of me, your host, Amazing Katamanda. Is my name, or the Amazing Katamanda? We're always here every Saturdays at 10 for 5 to give you nothing but the best when it comes to gospel artists. You can see me smiling because today I am not just joined by any other person, I'm joined by a legendary at least that's what I call her. And she's a media personality, she's also an artist, and we're here to just know more about her. And I must say, her genre of music is quite different from what we're used to in Zambia and that's what I love the most about her so she's an award-winning artist so let's just get to know more about her what am I talking about ladies and gentlemen I am talking about Ma Connie and she's here to just share her piece um, of her life with us so let's get interactive on our Facebook page unfortunately we weren't able to take your calls uh, this morning but you can still text us on our Facebook page and we'll be more than glad to hear from you so Good morning. Good it's good morning. to have you. <laughs> it's amazing to have it's you. It's an honor. Like your name, amazing. <laughs> it's so it's amazing. A, it, oh, it, it's amazing having you. It's an honor. Um, I'm not taking this moment for granted, but hey, I'm taking advantage mm. of it because I know it's not every day that we get to have at least a one-on-one -on -one with you. Wow. So it's good to have you. I'm honored. Yes. It's a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> so I think yeah. my number one question would be, how does it feel like to be you? To feel like to be me. <laughs> yes. You know, I just, you know, sometimes the times when I just, when I like take a step back mm -hmm. and say, mm, is that really, you like, really me? Like, because you have achieved so many things. <laughs> you have achieved so yeah, many things. I guess it's the grace of God, you know. Mm -hmm. um, I can't really say, you know, there are certain things that happen to us mm -hmm. i think it's very important to walk with mm -hmm. god in everything that you do mm -hmm. because the bible says our steps are ordered by the lord mm -hmm. and because of that mm -hmm. i take every day every day at the time mm -hmm. as uh, god having written that this is what is going to be this is what's going to happen because mm -hmm. i've allowed him to take over my life and mm -hmm. i think that's really important for each and every person and like you know just waking up and say okay what am i going to do how is it going to be mm -hmm. it's quite dangerous I see. <laughs> <laughs> and yeah. obviously i i don't know how you just manage to do things and make them look effortlessly mm. because when we look at you you have achieved so many things there are so many titles to your name mm. um but yet you still believe in god mm. um it's not easy being in this industry and then also just having to know god so for you what does it mean to just have a personal relationship with god regardless of the things yeah. that you have regardless of who you are in society mm -hmm. but what does it mean to just have this man we call jesus on your side you know i i love your question <laughs> <laughs> it's a nice one mm -hmm. you know um a relationship with god is just like a relationship with you mm -hmm. or a relationship with someone who is you know special mm -hmm. special to you mm -hmm. um you know let's talk about boyfriend and girlfriend those people are like oh i've got a boyfriend mm -hmm. you know you're so in love with him you want to call him talk mm -hmm. to him mm -hmm. tell him about your day what is it that has happened mm -hmm. you know so it's you know the same thing i should be excited mm -hmm. about talking to god i shouldn't take it okay, okay he's my savior mm -hmm. but then he's part of me he's mm -hmm. part of my life mm -hmm. so i should be like okay so this is what has happened today in my life he knows that this is what has happened but I sh i'm excited about mm -hmm. you know pouring out to him so mm -hmm. i guess 
for me it's like that it's personal mm -hmm. it's not about what someone else thinks mm -hmm. because people will judge you every time you know they oh, always the come time. up with their own versions mm -hmm. why is she dressed like that you know mm -hmm. why does she look like that who does she think she is yeah. and everything but for me i think i'm that kind of person who doesn't really care what other people think <laughs> you know like mm -hmm. i don't really i don't really care um not not in a bad way but because i feel what I believe is more important mm -hmm. than, you know, because at the end of the day, it's me and God. Mm -hmm. It's not about the outward, or what people think or what people will say. Mm -hmm. When all those people are not there, mm -hmm. it'll be just me and God. What does he think about me? Yeah. I think that's, that's what more important. So there are times when you, okay, you feel bad maybe when something mm -hmm. happens and people say negative things or, mm -hmm. or what, mm -hmm. but the most important thing is, oh my God, is still happy. No, <laughs> I, I move on with my life. And that's what keeps <laughs> yeah. you going. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay, so now let's just uh, get to talk about your music journey. Yeah. Um, first things first, I want to know is your creative process like mm -hmm. because your music is quite different from what we're seeing in this generation mm. it just has its own style it's just yeah. calm mm -hmm. a bit playful mm -hmm. it's just like you you just it just allows you to bring mm -hmm. out who you are so yeah, like so your creative process it's like um an innocent side of me like mm -hmm. a side where mm -hmm. i just i just want to be me mm -hmm. i want to you know just you know, bring out in my music how I'm feeling, mm -hmm. bring out in my music the inspirations I'm getting from God, mm -hmm. because um, what happens when I'm making, if you've noticed that the type of music that I have, mm -hmm. it's not just one genre, like it's mm -hmm. not just uh, I'm a piano, mm -hmm. it's not just Afro pop, mm -hmm. it's a variety, a yes, it's a variety, so mm -hmm. um, I get downloads and I get inspiration. Mm -hmm. um, Talk about which one? <laughs> Talk about uh, Pempelo, for example. Mm -hmm. When I was doing Pempelo, I was at a point in my life where I had gone through a heart operation, mm -hmm. you know, surgery. Mm -hmm. And that's not something easy. That's no. something it's delicate. You know, it's a life and death decision. It's yes. a decision where you let go, you mm -hmm. know, you let go of everything in your life. But to come out, from that and still be okay mm -hmm. um, you've got a lot to talk about and then there, there's a time where you enter in a space where you're praying mm -hmm. you know because you you're praying about um, the Bible says you know that if you confess with your heart with your mouth mm -hmm. and believe in the Lord Jesus then mm -hmm. you'll be saved so yes. yeah so you're at a point where you say God I want you to save me Mm -hmm. So for me, that scripture, Romans 10 verse 9, mm -hmm. was the you know anchor point of everything. And so after going through that, mm -hmm. it was like Pempeloyanga, you know. Mm -hmm. The prayer that I prayed, mm -hmm. you heard me, yeah. you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you heard me, you know, and you answered it. Because mm -hmm. it was like, Pempeloyanga, nina vomela, so nina vomela. Like, you heard me. Mm -hmm. And you answered me. So it was a song that when I came out of that experience, I just heard it in my ears. I heard it in my sleep. And it became a song, you know, I just mm -hmm. wrote it down and it became a song. So, you know, that's usually the process that I, I go through most of the time. And then talk of these other songs, mm -hmm. my God is good. Mm -hmm. I'm happy. And, mm -hmm. you know, I can't think of anything else but amazing. Mm -hmm. <laughs> like your name, amazing. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so you go, he's so amazing, mm -hmm. you know, and all these things, yeah. Okay, it's like that. Um, so all songs that you have, is it that you write them yourself or you work with other people in just uh, bringing everything to life? Because I know for us to see um, a musical video mm -hmm. or maybe just getting a whole song, it takes a full team. Mm. Of people i didn't know that <laughs> <laughs> no, because, you know, it's not only you because there's you an artist uh, there's the editor oh, yeah, the producer, yeah, there's what they're all these guys fixing it yes, yes. so yes, yes. for you um do you have a team that helps you to write or maybe you just do everything on your own mm -hmm. and then when you're done writing that's when now you get into the studio mm -hmm. um who would like to know that process so most of the time i i do most of the writing mm -hmm. i do the writing mm -hmm. and uh composing of the song mm -hmm. Um, 
then after I'm done with that, then I go to the studio now and yeah. now just put in the beat um, instruments and uh, the genre, like, yeah. So mm -hmm. most of the time it's like that mm -hmm. for all my songs so far. Okay. Yeah. Uh, I'm looking forward to a time where probably someone may write me a song, but I don't know. <laughs> I mean, when you're good, you're good. As, uh, as we learned, you'd say it's nothing yeah. personal, but it is personal. Yeah, yeah. So, so uh, no, honestly, I do enjoy your music. And Thank you so much. some young people would say, ah, this kind of music, like, it sounds nice, it's sweet, and everything. Mm -hmm. There's just something different about your music and it speaks to the heart and honestly mm. I don't know if when you're writing you have also the youths in mind mm. or it's just meant for a yeah. certain group of people do you ever get to have uh, like an imagination when writing a song like okay my mm. target audience is this yeah. age group yeah unfortunately not <laughs> you don't. so it's um, it's mostly I think I rely mostly on the Holy Spirit mm -hmm. to take me mm -hmm. in the direction. Mm -hmm. And then when I'm in the studio, you know, mm -hmm. sometimes my, my producer will find it funny. I'll be like, okay, I just want to pray about this. And then mm -hmm. feel like I'm laying hands on him as well. So mm -hmm. you may work, in the, <laughs> yes. work in the direction, work mm -hmm. in the direction. And mm -hmm. then he just says, okay, let's, I think it should sound like this. Let's mm -hmm. make it a bit fast. Yeah. And I'm like, okay, I think. Spiritist, I'm not in here. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So most of the time it's like that. It's, yeah. uh, it's like that. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I love it. I, I love how you work. Honestly, I'm admiring. <laughs> 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 I'm admiring yeah. how you just like uh, do things. So, like the response, especially from, is it to baby? Uh, to baby. Yeah, at baby. At baby. Yeah, are you ready? Just the <laughs> title. The title. So, can yeah. we talk about that? Like, how did the title come about? Yeah. Uh -huh. And then, like, what was running through your mind? Mm -hmm. Because it sounds strange, right? It sounds strange, like yeah. really strange, but good. You know, I Jesus went everywhere. Mm -hmm. He ministered to people. Like, if you look at the woman who went and poured her you know, how perfume mm -hmm. on his legs. Mm -hmm. She's a person, I mean, this time I never say, hmm, Jesus allowing such a woman to even come close to mm -hmm. him and everything. But let's not forget the purpose yeah. of certain things. So the purpose of their meeting together was so that she, she be, she's saved, you know mm -hmm. what I mean? And mm -hmm. for me, I have a purpose mm -hmm. with the music that I'm doing. Yeah. Maybe a few people might feel like, Ah, no, no, this music, ah, we, mm -hmm. probably the am church or, you know, whatever it is, but everything has a purpose. I was actually going to get you there. Know? And, <laughs> <laughs> and, you know, the devil is out to get people. Mm -hmm. you Very know? true. And he will use whatever manipulation mm -hmm. possible mm -hmm. to get them. Mm -hmm. As Christians, we need to be wise, yeah. you know, and we need to um, use our intelligence. Mm -hmm. So... We, there's a competition going on here. Mm -hmm. So for me, I need to get to the people mm -hmm. who are not able to get the word of God because they feel probably, ah, music, I'm church, I'm not boring, you know, you know, such mm -hmm. things. Yeah. They want to listen to worldly music because at the end of the day, there's, you know, people want to, to be happy and all, but then they will not get the message of God because they're listening to other music. So. Mm -hmm. For me, I think God has been speaking to me to say, okay, make your music in such a way that it will be appealing to everyone, mm -hmm. but there should be a message there at the end of the day, you should be able to save someone. So, Atu Better Baby, it's like um, when I was making this song, mm -hmm. um, I love children very much. Mm -hmm. So, being a mother, having gone through motherhood, mm -hmm. every time I'll take my child, this was like a song I'd see my child, like a lullaby mm -hmm. in our language. Mm -hmm. So I'd say, Atubele baby, mm -hmm. Atubele baby, and then mm -hmm. the baby would be quiet. Calm, yeah. yeah, it would be quiet, it would be calm, and would be happy, smiling, mm -hmm. and everything. Mm -hmm. So it's it means come, come and breastfeed. Oh, yes, okay. Okay. come and breastfeed. Mm -hmm. So I'll be calling the baby to come and breastfeed. Mm -hmm. um, it also means speak mm -hmm. in Lingala to the baby means speak so mm -hmm. atubele 
when you separate the space, you put it together, it means speak. Okay. Yeah, so I was saying God's love is like a mother's love. Mm -hmm. It's unconditional. Mm -hmm. You know, he knows he's our father yes. and he loves us with a bad, with a cranky, mm -hmm. with a crying. He loves you, us. You, you, you mess yourself up. He, he still, still brings you. us back and say, okay, still come and breastfeed because you need me. Mm -hmm. Yes. So in that song, I'm saying, come, mm -hmm. the baby. Mm -hmm. And um, when you first listen to it, you will not get it. But as you listen to the song, mm -hmm. you, you, in the lyrics, you hear mm -hmm. the love of my soul, the expression of my heart. Mm -hmm. It's like a mother and a child. Okay. And like a baby, mm -hmm. so come and you know. <laughs> so it's, it's a creative way of oh, yeah, of it is. That. It yeah. is very creative and mm -hmm. very unique, I must say. Um, but right now, I know you're already uh, a TV personality and everything, so. Ooh, we'll, we'll, we'll let you do your thing because we know you're really good at it. And wow. when, yeah, I want us to play um, mm -hmm. an odd video of yours. Wow. <laughs> I just let it like, you know, just like dig up and just bring the old things. Show, like those pictures they show you, you know, like white, check a black yes. and white. Mm -hmm. yeah. And in that video, you were dancing so much. <laughs> Oh so gosh. what we're going to do is when we get back we're going to talk about this baby right here how it came about and everything mm -hmm. um but right now that is your camera i want you to introduce that video um just like you would introduce somebody else all right yes wow <laughs> <laughs> telephone okay so this is a beautiful piece of music that was composed by makoni way back it's called Telephone to Glory because we believe the glory of God is so important to our lives and we believe that the communication with God is as simple as a telephone without even having to spend any money or anything. So let's listen to this song by Marconi called Telephone to Glory. Hello? Sure. Yeah, I've also done it, I'm telling you, I've passed my exams, I got six points, can you imagine? <laughs> yeah, I did it. I'm telling you, it is great, I did it. <laughs> I'm very happy. Come on and wiggle those bones, yeah? Tap into God's telephone line. It's for free, you know? Do you remember, remember if you've danced around with the phone, with the phone? to your way Moving down the line Make 
my God, the Father for His very own. I'm dancing around with the phone, phone. with the phone. Oh, oh. If you're just joining us, you're welcome. This is the weekly gospel with me, host the amazing Katamanda. And today I'm joined by the beautiful lady, um, Connie. So if you have any comments, any contributions, please head on our Facebook page. Unfortunately, today we're unable to take your calls. So please do head on the Facebook page, leave your comments there. Looking at that video, mm. <laughs> what <laughs> memories does it bring to you? <laughs> well, it brings back a lot of memories. Mm -hmm. uh, God is doing good. <laughs> <laughs> I think that Come time I was with. just starting my career. Mm -hmm. Things were just looking, um, things were beginning to look good, mm -hmm. you know. Yeah, and uh, I joined the media that time. So mm -hmm. that was like one one of those first videos that we, mm -hmm. we did. And then uh, we, we came silent, you know. <laughs> In the video, we went on a hiatus of okay. some kind. And uh -huh. then here we are, back again back again so what brought you back <laughs> wow. interesting question so having um, faced the heart condition I discovered that I had it mm -hmm. I didn't know that I had it mm -hmm. I think it was more to do to say mm, I should just leave this earth you know because there's a possibility that I probably might leave the earth mm -hmm. and leave without having done anything mm -hmm. you know to point at to say okay this is I what I did with my this. voice, mm -hmm. you know. So I just said, no, 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 no. God would not be very happy with me. So mm -hmm. here we are. <laughs> ah, <laughs> that's a good love. one. That's that's mm -hmm. that's really a good one. Okay, mm -hmm. so I uh, we have something beautiful here. Mm -hmm. um, can you tell us the story behind this beautiful award, which is very unique? Mm -hmm. We don't see. Um, trophies like this one. <laughs> <laughs> no, we rarely see, see ones that look like this. So can you mm -hmm. just tell us about this beautiful baby right here? All right. So this is um, an award mm -hmm. for composing uh, a song mm -hmm. to commemorate the bombing of Hiroshima. Mm -hmm. um, this award was given in the whole of Africa mm -hmm. to me mm -hmm. uh, at a very young age mm -hmm. when I was about 16 years old. When you're about 16. Yes. <laughs> and it's still intact. It's still intact, yeah. So the title of the song was We Need Peace. Mm -hmm. And um, um, it, it's, it's a song that, um, you know, those days we didn't have all these um, things that we see today mm -hmm. in terms of uh, the technology and everything. So mm -hmm. they wrote the song on this tablet mm -hmm. and it was a prize that was awarded to me in Japan mm -hmm. uh, at that time. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, so this was the beginning of my music career. <laughs> <laughs> Although there I was very you. young, but my my parents actually wanted me to first finish school mm -hmm. and do all these things, so yeah. This and is, you're still keeping it that. well, like mm -hmm. it's it looks like you just got it last year. Wow, no, it's, it's <laughs> from the time you were 16. Yes, Ish. it means a lot to me, so I just kept it because I think that was my first time to even travel outside mm -hmm. to receive VIP treatment. Mm -hmm. You know, those days, a lemonzine was unheard of. So ah! it was like VIP treatment in a lemon mm -hmm. with 
uh, motorcade. Yeah. Uh, that was, you know, that was just amazing. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sure you would repeat yeah, that so, moment like mm -hmm. anytime, any day. Yeah. Um, the song. What really inspired you to write that song? We need peace. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, despite you know that time, it was a period where there was a lot of war going on. Mm -hmm. You know, you were sixteen. <laughs> I was 16, At sixteen, people was... are thinking about <laughs> just having fun, uh -huh. what games to play, uh -huh. but you were busy writing songs. Yeah, it was. You know, there was something. Mm -hmm. um, it was like a, it was a competition actually. Mm -hmm. There was something that was in the paper or something. I can't really remember where it was, mm -hmm. but I saw it, mm -hmm. and mm -hmm. they were saying peace prize something something to compose mm -hmm. the song of peace, and you know, and mm -hmm. it was brought to my attention. And I started writing, working mm -hmm. on it, mm -hmm. and I remember I sent a tape, like mm -hmm. a set tape, put it in an envelope and mm -hmm. posted it, and mm -hmm. forgot about it, mm -hmm. like. I think a year then passed, mm -hmm. and then I received mail because you know those days there was no email. Yeah. Like, really. So okay, yeah, emails were there, but then we didn't really have mm -hmm. that technology. So I received mail, mm -hmm. and we opened it like with my mom. Mm -hmm. She, my mom opened it, and then she said, "Uh huh, read." And I couldn't read mm -hmm. because I just couldn't. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't know. I couldn't you know, understand what I was saying, and then she says, you've won the competition, you're going to Japan, I almost collapsed, <laughs> like, I was down on my, I couldn't believe it, mm -hmm. you know, so, here we are today. Wow, um, your parents must have, must have been very supportive, mm -hmm. uh, 16 years old, someone writing music, and they're there supporting, mm -hmm. but of course they, they, they told you, you know, go to school before mm -hmm. you can. Well, they, they kind of showed it, more than... Talking, <laughs> they kind of showed it more than talking. You know, there's that look where they give you, like, mm -hmm. when you want to do something. So, I think I kind of grew up in that type of you know, where mm -hmm. there's the unspoken communication yeah. that you know to say, but mm -hmm. those discipline, yeah. then yeah. I don't think children in generation <laughs> would, would understand, they wouldn't, yeah, they wouldn't. But at least I get that from my parents. Like, mm -hmm. there are things that I'll be doing, and my mom will just look at me, even at this age. Mm -hmm. I'm like, okay, I'll stop. <laughs> They yeah, don't have to say it. the words. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so are you also that parent that supports um, children mm -hmm. with their dreams? Because I know in this time and era that we're living in, education is more important than anything mm -hmm. else. But of course, we also need to support talent. So mm -hmm. are you the parent that says, mm -mm, school first, not in my house? Mm -hmm. Or you're that parent like, okay, we, 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 we can see how we can strike a balance here. Mm -hmm. I think I am that parent who strikes the balance. Mm. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, I haven't seen. Um, I think one of my kids loves soccer so much. Uh -huh. So we've been supportive to him uh, playing soccer. Uh -huh. uh, yeah. But I think now he's he's now moving on to university. So uh -huh. he's kind of changing away from that. But he's still a soccer fan. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Beautiful. Beautiful. Um, let's talk about how you just juggle being a businesswoman, being a mother, mm. being a wife, um, and then also a career woman. Mm. And then also you're in ministry. Mm. So how do you juggle <laughs> of course, it's, every it's not day? easy. I mm -hmm. think um, you need, if you're going to do something, if you're going to do ministry, mm -hmm. you need to find a solution to the other things that you, you know, where, where there are going to be gaps, like mm -hmm. how you're going to fill in. Mm -hmm. in those areas when you are not there. Mm -hmm. So um, that's something that I've been working on. Like mm -hmm. I know to say, okay, so if I'm not going to be at home between this time and this time, mm -hmm. and I'm not going to maybe uh, pick up my son mm -hmm. from school, mm -hmm. who is going to do it? Mm -hmm. So <laughs> that's where now I feel in the blank. So if mm -hmm. I'm able to do that, mm -hmm. then it becomes easy mm -hmm. for me to maybe concentrate on one or two things mm -hmm. as I'm doing that. But as you know, like in a family, the, a family supports you. So you find there'll be certain things that I'll be doing, there'll be certain things that he'll be doing. Mm -hmm. When he's not doing them, I am doing them. Mm -hmm. So things like that uh, okay. kind of help out. Yeah, mm -hmm. so it's, it's more to do with planning. And I think time, 
time is also a decision. Mm -hmm. There are people who will tell you they are busy, even mm -hmm. when they have, they'll always be busy, mm -hmm. and there will never be time to do anything else because yeah. you don't really manufacture time. Mm -hmm. So it's more like a decision. You need to decide to say, okay, this is what I want to do, and mm -hmm. you do it, and you make time for it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so basically that's what I do. I do a lot of things, by the way. Yeah. <clears throat> I'm good with my hands, so... Mm -hmm. Um, sometimes you find me working, fixing cupboards, mm -hmm. doing tiles. Mm -hmm. I, I know how to do tiles as well. I know how to do wardrobes. Mm -hmm. um, I, I guess God has just outpoured his blessings on me. Mm -hmm. I believe in um, uh, Philippians chapter 4, you verse 13. All things. All things. Dear Christ. You know, <laughs> empowers me. So mm -hmm. I just, I, you know, I did ask for guidance. I did ask for the Holy Spirit to empower me mm -hmm. and he did just that mm -hmm. because mm -hmm. the bible says you ask mm -hmm. he that is lacking wisdom mm -hmm. ask for wisdom and yeah. wisdom will be given to him mm -hmm. and he that has anything mm -hmm. that will be given to him as well yeah. so it's i had to ask and say god i need your grace mm -hmm. and outpouring to be able to do whatever it is that I can do according to your scripture mm -hmm. and God just did that because there was a time in my life where um, things were hard mm -hmm. like they were really 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 hard mm -hmm. yeah and um, that period of my life really put me in a situation where I really need God to come through mm -hmm. and he just came through and mm -hmm. that was my prayer and mm -hmm. here we are today able to do all things through okay. Christ Jesus who strengthens me um, I, I just need to know, mm -hmm. you know, and um, actually we need you to advise mm -hmm. young people out there, especially ladies, girls. Mm -hmm. Most of the times, when you're coming from um, a family that is lacking, mm -hmm. um, they opt mm -hmm. for men mm -hmm. instead Setting of themselves. yes, <laughs> instead of using their yeah. hands mm -hmm. in everything with regards to that, like. How, uh, what weight of advice do you have for every young person who says, mm -hmm. um, it's not easy, they give excuses all the time to say, mm -hmm. you think it's easy for me, I, I need capital, I need to do what, so don't rather, yes, just be fine. <laughs> yeah. So, like, mm -hmm. what weight of advice do you have for us young ladies, yeah. but of course not for getting mm -hmm. the boys, the you know, gentlemen? Um, the temptation is there. Mm -hmm. uh, it's normal mm -hmm. to be tempted. Mm -hmm. It's normal to feel like you want the other partner. Mm -hmm. But then to give it mm -hmm. as a way of selling yourself, mm -hmm. wow, that's, I, I wouldn't advise that. Mm -hmm. um, first of all, you need to value yourself. Mm -hmm. And if you value yourself, mm -hmm. you will not give yourself to any person mm -hmm. without, you know, them first, you know, coming to a place where they are worthy of you. Mm -hmm. um, someone once told me that if you don't abuse yourself, mm -hmm. I think for me, if you're going to give yourself to any other person, you are actually abusing yourself. Mm -hmm. You are not being fair to yourself. You're abusing yourself. Mm -hmm. So do not abuse yourself. Mm -hmm. Do not give yourself freely because you're valuable. Mm -hmm. God put a price on your head. Mm -hmm. And the fact that he put a price on your head, mm -hmm. he told you that I created you mm -hmm. and I know your value. Mm -hmm. You may not know it yourself, mm -hmm. but he knows your value. And once you do that, mm -hmm. you destroy yourself. One, because sexual relations mm -hmm. um, are spiritual. Mm -hmm. It may happen physical, yeah. but whatever happens physically has a spiritual effect. Mm -hmm. And once you do that, that ripple effect goes back years in the future mm -hmm. and comes to haunt you. Certain things that happen to you, certain attitudes that you have, mm -hmm. certain behaviors that you have mm -hmm. are because of people you met with. Mm -hmm. That's why the Bible says you become one mm -hmm. and the two become one in flesh. Yeah. You cannot become one with every person you meet on the road mm -hmm. or every person that you see. Mm -hmm you are taking away something that per whoever you meet with is taking away something from you mm -hmm. you know so if you value yourself mm -hmm. and you value the price that god gave on you you are not going to do that it will just you know it will just stop you it's nice to date and do everything that's okay that's mm -hmm. normal mm -hmm. but never give yourself in that way physically mm -hmm. unless 
it's the person who you know you're going to be with for life and mm-hmm. choose choose perfectly yes, yeah. <laughs> not just choosing ah no mm-hmm. you know choose properly mm-hmm. yeah and once you make that decision you will not regret it mm-hmm. yeah because once you give yourself to someone whom you you know you feel is not worthy of you mm-hmm. you regret it mm-hmm. for the rest of your life and you continue hurting yourself mm-hmm. by probably getting more people sleeping with them as well or mm-hmm. doing you know all sorts of things i just believe it's like that i know people feel it's cool mm-hmm. to move around and sleep around with everyone else mm-hmm. but mm-hmm. guess what mm-hmm. there is something that is being taken from you when you do that Oh, I, <laughs> I, <know>. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> I just love you like I love you I love you <laughs> okay so to the viewers you see why I'm always saying when you're watching this show you always need to have like a pen and paper with you so if you just take note of mm-hmm. the things that have been said because when you take note at least you'll be able to remember you might forget but when you open your book you'll be reminded of these important things so if you're just joining us you're welcome i'm here joined by makoni so if you have any comments or any contributions please do feel free to go on our facebook page leave your mm-hmm. comments there unfortunately today we're unable to take your calls um getting back to your music mm. journey um so much has evolved about the music in Zambia mm-hmm. from the time that you started so yeah. much has so evolved so much <laughs> i guess what the videos are actually prices have also evolved yes <laughs> yeah things are, are, are mm-hmm. more expensive now mm-hmm. so ish <laughs> so how are you like keeping up with the trends in just mm-hmm. in, in as much as you are being authentic to music in mm-hmm. as much as you are trying to you know um also evolve together with the world the music industry and everything mm-hmm. but um how are you just ensuring that you're still staying true to the kind of music that you're doing yeah that's that's a good question um so whenever i'm doing something mm-hmm. <clears throat> if it's a video or you know that i'm if, you're, if i'm doing a video for mm-hmm. example um i'd like to Invo- involve both mm-hmm. the young mm-hmm. and the old mm-hmm. so that I'm able to understand how the young people who do it and mm-hmm. how the older people would do it so mm-hmm. at least I have that balance you know mm-hmm. um there's a lot to learn from the young people because mm-hmm. they're always imagining you know the brain is very active so yeah. I if I interact with them I'm able to, you know, get their side and and have something new and fresh. Mm-hmm. By the way, talking about new and fresh. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Two videos yes. being released. Mm-hmm. Um I've got uh Pempelo mm-hmm. and I've got um Idea. So mm-hmm. I'm releasing those two videos mm-hmm. and that will be at uh New Metro mm-hmm. Arcades. Mm-hmm. Yeah, and it's it's going to be a launch mm-hmm. on the 23rd of September. Yeah. And uh it's going to be big so red and, carpet and, and i think we do have a clip of, of something mm-hmm. um so let's just show the viewers what we can get back to give us full info full mm-hmm. details so that we can find ourselves there wow. so mr director um can we have that clip um played <laughs> Mm-hmm. Can we have like full details um when and where the event will be and of course for those that who just want to be part and parcel the tickets that will be um you'll be given out mm-hmm. so mm-hmm. i think people can inbox us for those that can mm-hmm. i don't know is it okay if you ask some questions and then those that have the answers can either mm-hmm. um inbox us then when they give us the right answers mm-hmm. we give them the tickets how many tickets are we giving away So we're going to give out five. Five tickets. Mm-hmm. Okay. So you've had there are free five tickets. Uh but what are you what questions are you asking? 
Oh, what right. are the criteria for us to get those <laughs> free tickets? Because <laughs> I know we all love free things, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we want to know mm -hmm. what's the title mm -hmm. of Marconi's first album. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then the second question, mm -hmm. we want to know the title of the two videos that will be released. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And just those two. Just those two. Awesome. <laughs> uh, so now, can we get the full details about the event and, of course, what inspired? Because that's an interesting way of um, advertising something. It looks yeah. so catchy, mind blowing. You know, I just thought that, um, you know, as Christians, mm -hmm. we also need to, to go out mm -hmm. and have. A bit of fun. Mm -hmm. So this is more like a fun time, a mm -hmm. fun event where you mm -hmm. can come to the cinema, mm -hmm. dress your best, mm -hmm. you know, do some red carpet. Mm -hmm. uh, that'd be like 16 hours, 16 hours, you do some red carpet up mm -hmm. to 17. Mm -hmm. Then 18 hours, mm -hmm. you go into the cinema, mm -hmm. be entertained by a uh, well-known artist as well. Apart mm -hmm. from myself, there'll be other artists as well. That's on my other people who will be able to communicate with mm -hmm. and then get that entertainment in the cinema mm -hmm. and get to watch the new videos as well i think mm -hmm. that would be very fun it will be very fun mm -hmm. have i ever seen anything done like that in the <laughs> where did the idea first. come from like where did the idea come from like how mm -hmm. do people just come up with these good ideas wow where, 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 where did the idea come like from? Like, what inspired? I an idea. <laughs> <laughs> so you need to come up with ideas. Uh -huh. like, you know, but yeah. So I think it's it's something that I've been wanting to do uh -huh. for some time. And I just didn't know how to do it. So if there's anyone out there who want to be part of it, who want mm -hmm. to partner with me mm -hmm. um, for the launch on the 23rd of September, mm -hmm. they are very, very welcome and um, inviting. Mm -hmm. I'm inviting you. Mm -hmm. I'm inviting everyone. Watching. Everybody's invited. <laughs> invited. Everybody's invited. Yeah. It's a and wonderful time. We can be assured of having. A great time. A great time. Not only entertained, mm -hmm. but walk away with some knowledge. Spiritually uplifted. Yes, uplifted, encouraged, and everything. Mm -hmm. So, we'll definitely do come through. Um, but before I let you go, I'll just want to um, hear um, the advice that you would give to mm -hmm. someone who's aspiring to be uh, like you. Because the people want like to say, I want to be like her. I want to be like you. <laughs> yes, they're just people are like that. No, I just want to be like yeah. her. So, like, what word of advice do you have for such a one who's inspiring to be like you? Oh, I'm not that perfect. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you don't but even want to be like me. But you're perfect in imperfection. Yeah. So, we love that. We love okay. that. Okay, so um, it's not easy mm -hmm. to be me <laughs> mm, tell us tell us yeah it's not easy to be with me i think it's to be like me mm -hmm. the grace of god mm -hmm. the grace of god um you need to work hard mm -hmm. i i'm one person who i want to do something mm -hmm. but it should start first with you who wants mm -hmm. to do it it should mm -hmm. start with you wanting to achieve the goal that you want to achieve mm -hmm. once you are focused once you have decided making the decision is the first step that you need to make whatever mm -hmm. it is that you want to do mm -hmm. or whatever if you want to be happy make the decision to be happy mm -hmm. if you want to be successful make the decision to be successful yeah. you know one person and i'll give this example um put cooked rice mm -hmm. and put them in two jars so mm -hmm. the same rice huh? boiled mm -hmm. rice put them in two jars mm -hmm. and in one jar they continued whispering hate they mm -hmm. told the kids to come say hateful things i hate you what 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 mm -hmm. what every morning and then in the other jar mm -hmm. they said beautiful things like i love you you're wonderful you're great you're lovely mm -hmm. you know and they did that like for a long period of time mm -hmm. so over a month they came and looked at the two jars. Mm -hmm. The one which had hateful things said mm -hmm. to it, and this is a true experiment. You mm -hmm. can try it out at your own mm -hmm. home where you mm -hmm. do the same thing, cook boiled rice and put them in separate jars. Mm -hmm. And so the one which was in, the, uh, in one of the jars which had hateful things spoken mm -hmm. to it, turned moldy and black, mm -hmm. blackish looking. Mm -hmm. And then the one which was in the jar where they said nice things, lovely things, was still white. Wow. Yeah. So it shows you that um, mm -hmm. things that you 
choose to absorb mm -hmm. in you will change your way of thinking, change your perception, change your idea of success. Mm -hmm. So you should be a person who is not easily affected by negative things. Mm -hmm. Choose positive things. Soak yourself in the word mm -hmm. and speak positive things about yourself because mm -hmm. those things are seeds. Tell yourself, I am special. I am wonderful. Mm -hmm. I am able to do above and beyond what I can imagine. I am going to reach that goal. And keep, motivate, mod, uh, keep motivating yourself because this is like a seed that you're planting in yourself. You're telling yourself you're building your spirit. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. Amen. Uh, for those that would want to follow you on social media, um, where can we find you on social media? Thank you so much. Mm -hmm. um, Makoni Zambia, mm -hmm. that's what it, it is. You mm -hmm. can search Makoni Zambia on YouTube, Makoni Zambia on Facebook, Makoni Zambia on Twitter, Makoni, M-A-C-O-N-Y. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so people feel to spell it like that. Yes. <laughs> okay. <laughs> and I'm on Vivo as well. Oh, yeah. awesome. Okay. Wonderful. We always want to get on Vivo. Yeah. To finally go <laughs> <laughs> there. Yeah. So we we'll definitely do that. So thank you so very much for coming to you. We appreciate your coming and wish you all the best even in your endeavors. And then of course we are looking forward to the um, album launch. Mm -hmm. so, uh, actually two videos. Yeah. Is it two videos? Video. Or two videos songs? and a music album as well. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. So I'm looking forward to that. Um, thank you for coming to you once again. Um, but before we allow you to go, we we'll mm. ask you to introduce the last two videos. <laughs> uh, because I don't want to do that while giving you that space. But um, to the viewers, thank you so very much for joining us this morning. We're grateful. Uh, don't forget to watch the repeats on Monday at 10.45. This has been amazing, Katamanda. And I'll always be the amazing Katamanda. On behalf of the entire production crew, um, Elijah Chifita, Isaac, um, Amos, and of course, not forgetting the pastors themselves, Pastor Moses and the church, we are grateful. And you, the viewers, for just finding time to watch the show and not forgetting our beautiful guest. Uh, for now, this is what you have to say. Well, goodbye, keep it locked, come to TV, you know, and not just another channel. But before we go, here is our beautiful lady, our beautiful <laughs> woman, wow. uh, introducing or leaving us with her two beautiful videos. All right. Mm -hmm. So, the two beautiful videos that this amazing lady has been talking about mm -hmm. are um, At Bella Baby mm -hmm. and Lord I Thank You. Mm -hmm. So please enjoy this music and have a beautiful week.
words today that you have heard will build you or break you. Choose today whom you will serve. For the Lord does protect you. He'll make you into what you're not. Yes, the Lord does defend you. He'll make you into what you're not. Cause I know that I could never leave my life without you. Never in my life as you. Thank you. 